Hi, my name is Dave. I'm Cole. And I'm Shane. And today we're going to show you how to do a circle check on a 42 inch Toro lawnmower. The first thing we're going to do is check your oil. The oil dipstick is lo located behind the seat, indicated by a yellow cap. Unscrew the cap, wipe the, rag off, wipe the dipstick off with a clean rag, put the dipstick back in but don't thread it into the spout. Take it back out and as you can see um, on this particular mower the oil is perfect. It's right up to the top. It's not overfilled and it's not underfilled. Um, the oil seems to be very clear. It's not black at all. So this is good. Um, if you let your mower run out of oil um, you could possibly um, score your piston because your piston isn't lubricated by the oil and um, this costs a lot of money to repair and for something as simple as adding oil, um, you would feel stupid not to do it. Now we're going to look at the air filter. Now to look at the air filter, just take her off. Inside here, you'll see that it's very clean, but if this were to be dirty or have any debris, it's time to change it. If you don't want to replace your air filter and it's still in good shape, you could just take a little air wand, give it a quick blow. Now you want to check your battery, which is located underneath the seat. Okay, to check the battery, you want to make sure that it's secure. Um, there's a positive and a negative charge. You want to make sure that they never touch each other or in contact. Um, there's, if there is corrosion, the corrosion usually occurs around the bolts on each side. And you can use a wire brush or a metal brush to take, get rid of the corrosion. Now we'll check the grease points. The grease points are located at the front, in the back, and in the center. They have grease nipples where you, the contact points would be. Now to check our tire pressure. An air gauge isn't around. A good practice is to give the tires a quick boot to see if they're soft. Three. Now with an air gauge, you go right to the valve here. Put this on top and just push down very gently. Right now the tires are reading about 20 PSI. On a zero turn lawnmower, there are three sets of wheels. You have your drivetrain, your deck wheels, and your dummies. In order to check the lug nuts, you can just do a quick hand test to see if any of them are loose. If the lug nuts are loose, you can get a jack and raise the machine and get the proper ratchet to tighten the bolts. If your mower's not starting, you should always check your spark plug. First, take the spark plug boot off. Then, take your ratchet with your 5 8 socket and Gently unthread the spark plug. Then you're going to want to take your spark plug wrench off and unthread the spark plug just by hand. As you can see here, this, part, this spark plug has a bit of black on it. That's okay. Um, the only time you run into problems is when you have oil or fuel buildup between the uh, solenoid and the reactor. Um, that liquid disrupts the spark, which uh, creates a combustion within the engine and won't allow your uh, mower to start. Once you're done and your spark plug is all clean, make sure you thread the spark plug back into the block by hand. Once you can't thread in the spark plug anymore with your fingers, take your ratchet and just give it a little snug. Not too much, because if you give it too much, you'll end up stripping the threads in the block, and it's an expensive fix to be had. And last but not least, your fuel. To check if you're out of fuel, a good practice is to give it a shake, and usually you're able to see down inside the tank. If not, there's a fuel window on the side to check the level. When getting on your lawnmower, you should always maintain a three-point contact. We're gonna show you the proper PPE. Some people might not know, but PPE stands for Personal Protection Equipment. First things first is safety glasses. Safety glasses are used to protect your eyes from any harmful objects that come in contact with your eye. Uh, you got your high vis your earplugs, and your steel toe boots. Steel toe boots should be CSA approved. That's the green triangle located here. And some jobs, you might need to wear a hard hat. Next, I'm going to show you how to properly start your lawnmower. On this particular lawnmower, it has an automatic choke. 
So what you're gonna wanna do is put the throttle all the way up until the choke is activated. Then you're gonna wanna turn your ignition. Once your mower is warmed up, you can take it off of choke and idle it down to about three quarters throttle and you should be good to go. Next, I would like to talk about the PTO or power takeoff. This button here controls whether or not your blades are spinning. Um, when you do engage your PTO, you should always be at half throttle. Never all the way up or never too low, just at half. We hope to have provided you with enough information to feel safe and comfortable when performing a circle check and starting a lawnmower.